Hello and welcome back to my channel. Our project for today is to change the Serpentine Belt from Mitsubishi Lancer 2015. Please subscribe and enjoy watching. Before removing the serpentine belt, be sure to take picture or draw a simple diagram. First, remove the 12 mm bolts that hold the coolant reservoir or the plastic container that holds the coolant. After removing the bolts, set the container in front of the engine. Here is the clear view of the serpentine belt which is already damaged and worn out. And this is your belt tensioner. To remove the tension, you need a 14 mm wrench and turn it counterclockwise. After releasing the tension, you can now remove the serpentine belt. Before I install the serpentine belt, I make sure that I have this uh, improvised tool. I call it uh, a simple hook. It is very difficult to take video on the actual installation of the serpentine belt. So I came up with this idea to show you step by step on how it was done. First, position the serpentine belt around the pulley. Then grab the belt between the power steering and the alternator and place it on the idler pulley below the alternator. After doing so, make sure that the belt is seated properly on each pulley. And with the improvised tool, grab the belt between the water pump and the crankshaft and pull it towards the tensioner and set the belt in place. So this is how it's gonna look. With a 14 mm wrench, turn the nut on the tensioner counterclockwise to loosen the tension. Then grab the belt and slide it to the idler pulley. This is how I do it, simple and easy. So this part of the video, I'm just checking for the alignment and if everything is set up properly. So all I need to do is loosen the tension from the tensioner and slide the belt to the remaining pulley. One tip for you guys is that use a longer handle for the wrench so it will be easier for you to loosen the tension. As you can see it's a little bit difficult to loosen the tension from the tensioner because my wrench is a little bit short. And eventually with a little patience and hard work the belt is in place. And now all I need to do is check for proper alignment and positioning of the belt, making sure that everything is seated properly.
everything looks okay. So it's time to put back everything in place. And this concludes the video on how to change the serpentine belt of a 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, support my channel by subscribing, and thank you for watching. God bless us all.